Well, hello everybody. We are here today to make one of the best martinis for Valentine's Day, the French martini. You are going to love that little bit of sweetness you're going to taste in this cocktail, which is perfect for Valentine's Day. It's a little different than what you usually drink on Valentine's Day, which is champagne, but you're going to absolutely fall in love with this cocktail. So the French martini requires a shaker. You're going to get that out because you're going to make it nice and cold. You will need vodka and I'm using Grey Goose vodka. You will want pineapple juice and I am using a smaller pitcher of pineapple juice because that is way too large to try to get exact measurements. And you will need some Chambord. Now we have use Chambord in other cocktails and you will remember this is a raspberry liqueur and I am going to use lemon as a garnish but if you want to use raspberries that is great. So with a little ice and these ingredients we're going to have the best Valentine's cocktail. So let's start measuring. We want to take our shaker and we want to add a half an ounce of Chambord. Now if you are not a raspberry lover or you like like any other dark berry liqueur, I would try, say, blackberry liqueur, but Chambord is so perfect for this. And you just want a half an ounce. So we're making two cocktails, so we're going to use a full ounce of Chambord. Now, Chambord is a liqueur that has been around since the 17th century or a version of it has been around since the 17th century. I'm sure they have perfected it over time. Chambord is a combination of citrus peel, of course raspberry, honey, vanilla extract, cognac and some herbs and spices and it's 16.5 percent alcohol now let's add one and a half ounces of pineapple juice of course that's three quarters of an ounce per cocktail so i'm going to guess because this is a two ounce pour i'm going to say that's about one and a half ounces and we want one and a half ounces of vodka in each cocktail so that's three ounces for two and remember everything is cold so if you see this cold bottle, you know that when we get finished with this cocktail, it's gonna be extra cold. Because I always say, if you're gonna make a cold cocktail, begin with cold ingredients. This is two and then about one, a little bit more than one, but that's okay, we're not gonna tell. I might have over poured that about a quarter of an ounce, but who's counting? We're going to take this out of the way and then we're going to add ice to our shaker. Now we want to make sure this is on here tight because I don't want raspberry liqueur all over my bar. So here we go. All right, that should be extra cold. And move a few things out of our way. Let the, I'm gonna let this sit here and get a little cooler while we make a garnish very, very fast with lemon slices. And I know a couple of weeks ago I told you all about my Meyer lemons that I am growing, but guess what? I used all of the ripe ones, so I had to actually go and buy lemons. Let's just do a twist of lemon. So I'm going to take out the pulp so it won't be too lemon-like. And this is what I do with just a regular martini. Just straight up martini, I put a twist of lemon if I don't use olives. And I need to perfect my lemon twist. It's not perfect, but it will work. Okay, one more shake. And we are ready. 
We are going to pour this without the ice, maybe. Okay, we're gonna pour this without the ice. So we want to strain it into our glass. Get this out of our way. Make sure we have the same amount in each glass. We can do it. We can get them even. Let's see. One more drop. There we go. And a twist of lemon. But like I said, if you have some raspberries, skewer those raspberries and lay those across the top. I prefer not to have the raspberries, but you may like that. And you know, just for Valentine's Day, it would be cute to use strawberries. Why not? I don't know if the strawberries would work with the raspberry liqueur, but like I said, you can replace this Chambord with a blackberry, and that would be a great liqueur to try also. Let's give this a taste. Oh, it is delicious. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoy this cocktail and I'd like to hear from you. Leave a comment below and I'll leave other cocktail recipes at the end of this video. I have a French 75 that's also a really good cocktail that you might want to make and mm, I'm sure I have some others. So I thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber you know what I say. I would absolutely Absolutely love to have you as a subscriber and tap the bell to the right of the subscribe button and you'll be notified every time I make a new video and post it and you can always follow me on Instagram. Bye!